Dear students, after discussing about the electric charge, electric field and electric potential, now we are in the last part of electrostatics that is called electric capacitance. Okay, so we are going to discuss today about the electric capacitance. Clear? So, for a fixed conductor of charge Q and a radius R for a spherical conductor, the electric potential in air medium is found to be V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R. Am I right? So, for a fixed spherical conductor, of radius r and charge q electric potential difference v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r in a medium Okay, so for fixed spherical conductor, it means R is constant. Let us imagine a spherical conductor. Let the charge plus Q and the radius is R. Clear? If the size of the conductor is, as the size of the conductor is fixed, so R is constant. The medium is also constant. So from this we conclude that V directly proportional to Q. It means whenever the amount of charge across the conductor goes on increase, the potential also increases. It means I can write it the Q is also proportional to V or Q is equal to C V. Clear? Here the C is called the constant proportionality and known as the capacity of the capacitor or it is called as capacitance. Capacitance of the conductor that is constant of proportionality. So I can write it as C is equal to Q by V. Okay. How can you define the capacity of a capacitor or a conductor? So capacity of a conductor is numerically equal to the amount of charge flow across it when the potential difference across the conductor is 1 volt it means i would like to say that if v is equal to 1 volt c is equal to q if v is 1 volt clear c is equal to clear Capacity of a conductor is numerically equal to the charge flow across it when the potential difference is 1 volt. Clear? Capacity of a conductor is numerically equal to the charge flow when the potential difference is 1 volt. Clear? Listen to me. This is also written as the amount of charge stored. Amount of charge stored per unit potential difference of a conductor. Clear? So, if the V is 1 volt, then C is equal to Q. Clear?
No. C is equal to Q by V. That is amount of charge stored per unit potential difference. Potential difference, not potential. Okay. So C is equal to Q V. So Q is scalar quantity and V is scalar quantity. So capacitance is a scalar quantity. Clear? The conductor that store energy due to flow of charge. The conductor that store electric energy due to flow of charge. When potential difference across it is called condenser or capacitor. It means the electric device that store energy due to the flow of charge when potential difference applied across it that store energy is called capacitor clear for a short circuit potential difference is equal to zero for a short circuit potential difference is zero it means c tends to c is equal to q by b v take when B approaches to 0, then capacity tends to infinity. Value of capacitance vary from 0 to infinity theoretically. Clear? So, when V tends to infinity, capacity will become zero. When V tends to zero, capacity, it means theoretically zero to infinity is possible. Capacitance is independent of charge and electric potential difference independently but depends on their ratio this is very very important one capacitance is independent of charge and electric potential difference independently it means c direct never directly proportional to q and c never inversely proportional to v if v is constant c directly proportional to q if q is constant c inversely proportional to v clear it means c depends on the ratio that is c directly proportional to q by v ratio clear Slope of QB graph. Q V. Slope of QB graph. A straight line. Because, because just earlier we go through it. That V directly proportional to Q. So it is a straight line. So if you find out it's a slope theta, then tan theta is equal to q by b is equal to c that is capacitance clear did you get me
इफ चार्ज एक्रॉस ए कॉन्डक्टर इज डबल्ड Keeping the medium constant, what happens to its capacitance? If a charge across a conductor is doubled, then what happens to its capacitance? Capacitance is independent of charge. Clear? C is equal to Q by B. If charge increases, V also increases. But Q by B ratio remains same. That is, that is capacitance. remains as it is clear so c is equal to q by b no doubt but when charge increase there is no effect to the capacitance because if q increases then potential also increases that is q by b ratio remains same that is capacitance remains as it is clear elastance what is elastance the reciprocal of capacitance is called elastance it is reciprocal of capacitance s s is equal to 1 by c clear the reciprocal of capacitance is called elastance later on we will discuss it the elastance plays the same role as the as the force constant in spring we will prove it later on now we will discuss about the units and dimension of the capacitor units as we know c is equal to q by b in si unit c farad f is equal to coulomb per volt to so, farad is equal to coulomb per what that is si in cgs if we go for electrostatic unit esu electrostatic unit then it is start for start for means start coulomb per start volt again in electromagnetic unit it is in electromagnetic unit it is f per f per means a b coulomb a b coulomb to a b volt therefore the relation one farad is equal to one coulomb per one volt okay but we as we know one coulomb is equal to 3 into 10 to power 9 start coulomb clear one volt is equal to 1 by 300 start volt so it is found to be 9 into 10 to power 11 
star third that is one third clear again one third is equal to one coulomb per one volt one coulomb means one by ten f coulomb one volt means ten to power eight a volt it means one farad is equal to one by ten to power nine a b farad is equal to nine into ten to power eleven star farad. Now a question arises, sir. Is there any physical quantity which the CGS unit is larger than its SI? Answer again. Answer again. Electric capacitance. Because 1 F per day is equal to 10 to the power 9 farad. It means F per day is the biggest unit compared to SI unit. F per day is the CGS unit. Farad is the SI unit. Clear? dimension. As we know qualitatively C is equal to Q by V ratio. Clear? V means double by Q and C is found to be Q square by double is equal to A T whole square by ML square T minus 2 that is double means energy energy dimension is ml square t minus 2 so whenever we are going to put it m minus 1 l minus 2 t4 a square clear this is the this is the dimension capacitance now a question arises what is the dimension of elastance Note Unit of elastance is farad inverse. Again, dimension of elastance. The reciprocal of this M L square T4. square clear because capacity is this it's a reciprocal it's a reciprocal means m minus 1 is plus 1 l minus 2 plus 2 t minus 4 a minus 2 t minus 4 a minus 2 okay this is the reciprocal of capacitance clear elastic is selected property now capacitance of a spherical conductor For a spherical conductor, of charge Q and radius R in CGS, electric potential V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R. Sorry, in CGS, it is only Q by R. For, for A medium. 
because in CGS video, the dielectric constant is 1 by k and k is found to be 1 per a video, so v is equal to q by r. Therefore, electric capacitance c is equal to electric capacitance c is equal to q by b that is q q by r this q q get cancelled so c is equal to r star r clear so what is the capacity of the capacitor in a capacitor of a charge q and a radius r it is found to be c is equal to r star for a day that is in cg system for SI electric potential v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r in in air medium therefore electric capacitance c is equal to q by v that is q by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r this q q get cancelled and it is found to be 4 pi epsilon 0 into r as we know how much 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 to power 9 and 4 pi epsilon 0 means 1 by 9 into 10 to power 9 as we know 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is how much 9 into 10 to power 9 clear therefore c is equal to 4 pi epsilon 0 r is equal to r by 9 into 10 to power 9 for it means c directly proportional to r and c directly proportional to epsilon r clear it means if the radius of the conductor goes on increasing then capacity also increases clear and c directly proportional instead for a medium we are using 4 pi epsilon 0 but instead of a if some other medium is there then it is epsilon then it is epsilon epsilon means epsilon 0 into epsilon r it means epsilon 0 into epsilon r if a perfect epsilon 0 is taken as constant then epsilon r will be the dielectric constant so see directly proportional to the relative permittivity or i can say the dielectric constant clear now the question is sir in cg system the capacity is numerically equals to the radius why in ss system it is 4 pi epsilon 0 r clear some questions related to it Find capacity of a spherical conductor of radius 10 cm in air medium. Listen to me. R is 10 cm. That is, that is. Same is CG unit. Therefore, in CG system, how much? C is equal to R. That is 10 start for it. That is answer. Okay. If you convert it into SI, 10 cm is equal to 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. That is 10 to the power minus 1 meter clear that is SI in SI C is equal to 4 pi epsilon 0 r means r by 9 into 10 to the power 9 10 to the power minus 1 
9 into 10 to the power 9 clear 10 10 multiply so c is equal to 1.1 10 by 9 means 1.1 10 to the power 9 10 to the power 10 10 to the power minus 11 F stands for the unit, SI unit, Farad. So, this is the value in CG system, well, this is the value in SI system. Clear? Find the capacity of air if its radius is 6.4 into 10 to the power 6. So radius is given 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter. That is SI unit. Therefore, C is equal to 4 pi epsilon 0 R. In SI system, value is 4 pi epsilon 0. That is R by 9 into 10 to the power 9 farad. Clear? So R is 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 by 9 into 10 to the power 9 clear 9 7 zero. 0 9 1 1 10 to the power minus 3 that is 7 1 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 that is 7 1 1 micro faraday if radius of earth is found to be this then the capacity of earth is 7000 711 microfaraday. Clear? Find the unit of epsilon zero. Absolute permittivity with respect to capacitance. Clear? As we know in SI, C is equal to 4 pi epsilon 0. Clear? So C is equal to 4 pi epsilon 0. Therefore, Hmm. Epsilon 0 is equal to C by 4 pi R. But 4 pi is an 4 pi is an integer. So it has no dimension. Or I can write epsilon 0 has the same unit as a C by R. Clear? That is forward per meter in SI. So find the unit of epsilon 0 with respect to capacitance that is far per meter is the unit of absolute permittivity. Clear? This is about electric capacitance of a spherical conductor. Now, parallel bed. Before going to that, we should discuss a question. What is the capacity? What is the radius of a spherical conductor? If it's Capacity is 1 microfaraday. Listen to me. Here capacitance is given and asking for the radius. So C is equal to 4 pi epsilon 0. Ah, clear? It means I can write it. How much? Capacitance is given. R is equal to C by 
4 by epsilon 0. So, 4 by epsilon 0 means 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 to the power 9. C is 1 microfarad. 1 microfarad means 10 to the power minus 6. It is found to be 9000 meter or 9 kilometer radius. If the conductor is having the radius of 9 kilometer, radius of 9 kilometer, then its capacitance is 1 microfaraday. So it is very hard or very difficult to create a such type of spherical conductor. So this capacitor are rejected and the concept of parallel capacitor is introduced. Clear? Because the radius is 9 km, its capacity is 1 microfarad. So it is quite impossible. So this concept is neglected or rejected. Parallel plate capacitor. What is parallel plate capacitor? Listen to me. This is one parallel plate. Let it be separated with the charge Q. This is a parallel plate having a separated with the charge Q. Another plate is placed nearby it. which is get at clear when the positive plate is placed or an uncharged plate is placed very close to a positive plate the near end induces the near end induces opposite charge when the far end induces the opposite side induces same charge as it is get air through its potential gradually its potential gradually decreases but due to the continuous supply of charge the charge get increased charge get increased while the potential difference what happens get decreased it means q increase and v decrease that is q by v ratio get increased and that is called capacitance hence the capacitance considerably increases clear it is an arrangement of Two or more parallel plates where we can store electric energy when some potential difference a flight across it. It is an arrangement of two or more parallel plates where we can store electric energy when some potential difference applied across it. Principle When an uncharged comma earth plate is placed very close to a charged plate because plate 1 is charged plate 2 is uncharged and earth so there is a net decrease in potential when a charge is supplied continuously the charge get increased so when uncharged comma earth plate is placed very close to a charged plate what happens The charge get increased while potential difference potential difference get decreased that is Q by B ratio get increased. C is equal to Q by B 
एस क्यू एल बी मीन्स कैपासिटेंस ऑल्सो इंक्रीज considerably clear listen to me again i am expressing this is a charge plate it is supplied with a charge continuously charge is supplied it means charge goes on increasing but this plate is earth hence there is a decrease as the plate is at earth its potential gradually decreases so as q increases v decreases so q by v ratio because denominator is decreasing numerator is increasing so q by v ratio is increasing that is capacitance is increasing clear so this is the concept that's why we can store a maximum electrostatic energy in a limited space or a small region that is called capacitor clear that is called capacitor sir what is a capacitor capacitor is a device where we can store maximum electric energy in a limited space when some potential difference is applied across it clear Parallel capacitor with non-conducting slab. Let this is charge plate. Let it charge with charge Q. A parallel plate, another parallel plate. So it's a near end induced opposite charge and far end induced positive charge. So when these plates are get earth. This free charge gets neutralized due to electrostatic induction. Clear? Let area of each plate is A, and separation between the two plate is D. Clear? I want to put a dielectric slab of dielectric constant K and thickness T. Clear? let us consider a parallel plate capacitor having two thin sheet of charge plus q and a Minus Q. End of area. A respectively. Clear. Therefore, surface surface density is how much? Therefore, surface surface density sigma is equal to Q by A. Clear. Listen to me. This is positive plate. This is positive plate. Negative plate. It means if two plates are opposite each other, then electric field exists inside only. There is no electric field exists outside. That is well discussed in the electric field class number six. Clear? Let it D be the distance of separation. between two parallel plates e and v are the applied electric field and potential difference respectively it means e is equal to electric field and v is equal to potential difference let a slab of 
डायरेक्टली कॉन्स्टेंट हाउ मच के एंड थिकनेस टी इज प्लस इन बिटवीन टू पैरल प्लेट्स क्लियर सो दिस इज द डायरेक्टली स्लब इज प्लेस इन बिटवीन द पैरल प्लेट्स without any physical contact that's all electric field in between two parallel plates electric field between two parallel plates is how much e is equal to db by dr clear or i can write it v is equal to edr mode if i will ignore the negative so it is found to be electric field in a into d minus t electric field into medium t listen to me the directly slab is placed up to the thickness t while the remaining space is a so i have used the electric field a is a d minus t while electric field in medium is only t that is the dielectric slab is placed up to the thickness t that's a electric field in medium into t into d minus t plus e medium into t this is equals to number 1 clear electric field in between two parallel plate of oppositely charged because this is positive charge and this is negative charge electric field moves from Let this plate is e one vector. This is negative plate. E two is moving also towards negative, positive. From positive towards negative, therefore, net electric field is e one e two vector is equal to e is equal to e one plus e two because two plates are having equal area. Okay. And equal charge density, so I can put sigma by two epsilon zero plus sigma by two epsilon zero. As we know that the electric field intensity due to a single charge of state is a sigma by two epsilon zero, and it is found to be sigma by epsilon zero. Okay, this is equation number two. Again. Dielectric constant is equal to E A by E medium. If it is so, then E medium is equal to E A by dielectric constant, and it is found to be E zero by K. This is equation three. So using equation three in one. E zero by K, so V is equal to E zero D minus T plus E medium means E zero by K, that is T by K. So instead of E M, I can use E zero by K, where E zero is the electric field in air medium. If I will take the common D minus T plus T by K. So using equation two, I can write sigma by epsilon zero D minus T plus T by K. Clear? That's all. B is the equation. Electric cap. 
passive tense. C is equal to Q by V. Sigma means Q by A epsilon 0 D minus T plus T by K. Using this, I can find that C is equal to Q by V. Q by V means Q by A epsilon 0 into D minus T plus T by K. Clear? Q, Q get cancelled. So C is equal to A epsilon 0 by D minus T plus T by K. C is equal to A epsilon 0 by D minus T plus T by K. This is the expression for the dielectric slab of non-conducting. If the digit non-conducting, then it is found to be D minus T plus K. Let us imagine. Let us imagine the dielectric slab is a inserted into it very tightly so that there is no air gap in between. It means, it means if the capacitor, inside the capacitor, the parallel plate is pressed very tightly so that there is no air gap. It means at that situation. If slab is inserted into it very closely so d is equal to t because the distance between the two plate is equal to the thickness of the slab so d is equal to t it means d minus t is equal to 0 therefore c is equal to a epsilon 0 d minus t plus t by k so this factor get cancelled so instead of t i can use d so it is found to be a epsilon 0 by d by k because instead of t i can use d so it is found to be a epsilon 0 by d into k that is in when the non-conducting dielectric slab is inserted into it clear okay now therefore i can say that c medium is equal to a epsilon 0 by d into k. Let us imagine there is no slab at all. The whole parallel plate capacitor is in between this there is only a. It means for a in field parallel plate capacitor. Okay, tends to 1. For A, the dielectric constant is 1. Clear? So, if it is so, so K is equal to 1. So, C, A is found to be, instead of K, I can use, instead of K, I can use 1. So, it is found to be A epsilon 0 by D. Let us see sir. If the, this is non-conducting slab, let it will be a conducting slab. A conductor is placed into it. What happens? For a conducting slab, K tends to infinity. Then, let it will be equation 4. Then the equation 4. How much? C metal is equal to A epsilon 0 D minus T T by K 1 by K K tends to infinity T by K tends to T by K tends to 0. Therefore, C metal is equal to A epsilon 0 by D minus T. Clear? If D is equal to T, it means if the parallel capacitor is completely replaced by a metallic slab, then D is equal to T, then C metal tends to infinity. The capacitance increases to infinity times or approaches to infinity. Clear? 
So this is the expression with a non-convexing slab. This is the expression with a air pill capacitor, and this is the expression with a metallic slab. Conclusion. This is with medium and this is with A. Therefore, capacitance in medium by capacitance in A is found to be A epsilon 0 by D into K by A epsilon 0 by D. Clear? A. So, they get cancel. This found to be K. So, I can write it as a dielectric constant is equal to C medium by C air. But earlier we know that potential in air by potential in medium, force in air by force in medium, electric field in air by electric field in medium. It means what is the conclusion to be get? If the two parallel plates capacitor, parallel plates are there and a dielectric slab or any medium is replaced by air, then what happens? Potential decreases, electric field decreases, electrostatic force decreases, but the capacitance increases. So, this is also called specific inductive capacitance. So, dielectric constant is otherwise known as specific inductive capacitance. Is known as Capacitance A epsilon 0 by D into K that is in medium. So, capacitance directly proportional to area, capacitance inversely proportional to the distance of separation. Question Sir, does it, capacity of a capacitor depends upon the shape and size of the conductor? Yes. Previously, we discussed that C is equal to 4 by epsilon 0 R. It means C directly proportional to radius of the spherical conductor. Now, also we discussed that capacity also depends upon the its area of cross section area of the each plate and also the distance of separation between them. If the capacitance area of the each plate is doubled, what happens to the capacitance? The capacitance also becomes two times. If the doubled is reduced, if the distance between the two parallel plate is reduced to half, what happens to the capacitance? D becomes half, hence the capacitance becomes two times its initial. Clear? A metallic slab of negligible thickness is introduced into a air field capacitor. What happens? Listen to me. Capacitance in A medium is found to be A epsilon 0 by D. Clear? And capacitance per metal is found to be A epsilon 0 by D minus T. Okay? Or we can write it as a T by K. For metal, K tends to infinity. And for negligible thickness, T tends to 0. So, this factor tends to 0, this factor tends to 0, and it is found to be A epsilon 0 by D. And it is equal to C A. It means, if a negligible thickness of a metal is it is D into the air capacitor, what happens? No change remains same. Answer? Remains same. Thank you for watching. In the next class, we will discuss 
the remaining part of the LNP capacity. Till that, bye. Thank you.